Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, October 20th. The White House wants to end the military's don't ask, don't tell policy regarding gay servicemen and women, but not until the military has had more time to prepare. That's why the Obama administration today asked for an emergency stay of a judge's ruling to halt the policy. The government is appealing a ruling from District Judge Virginia Phillips to set the policy aside and wants the policy left in place during the appeals process. The Justice Department said leaving the judge's decision in place now could cause tremendous uncertainty for service members who might reveal their sexual orientation based on the judge's ruling, which could end up being thrown out. Anita Hill says she spoke the truth and has nothing for which to apologize. You'll recall Hill was a former worker with then-Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas, who accused Thomas of sexual harassment and nearly derailed his nomination in 1991. This month, Hill got a voicemail from Thomas's wife, Virginia, asking her to apologize and explain her accusations. Hill is now a professor at Brandeis University. Mrs. Thomas is a conservative activist and founder of the nonprofit Liberty Central Organization. Overseas, French police broke through protesters and opened a number of fuel depots being blocked by strikers. That should help ease a fuel shortage that officials say still could grind the country's economy to a halt. Demonstrators are protesting government proposals to raise the retirement age and take other steps to close a budget gap. A final vote on those proposals has been pushed to next week. Meanwhile, Great Britain could be very well looking at a similar situation. The government there today announced severe budget cuts aimed at reducing a deficit that's expected to hit $1.4 trillion. The plan calls for taxes to be raised $45 billion over five years, cuts in welfare, and raising the retirement age from 65 to 66. That's your political roundup for Wednesday, October 20th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.